Hello and welcome to a new lesson from Teaching Methods Simplified. Today's math lesson is add zero. Essential question. What happens when you add zero to a number? In this lesson, we will learn how to add with zero. This is how you write the word zero. Can you write the digit zero? Zero. Remember, zero looks like an O, but it is different. O is a letter, zero is a number. Zero, zero. Okay, but what does zero represent? Well, we know that one means one apple, one cat, one ball, one item or one thing. So when we say one, we mean it represents one thing, one pencil, one bottle, one one anything. And two means two balls, two apples, two cats, two items, two things. But what about zero? What does zero mean? Well, zero means none, nothing. No money, zero money. Zero apples, no apples. Zero cats, no cats. And zero balls, no balls to play with. Zero means nothing, none, empty. So let's think about this a little bit. What happens when we add zero to any number? For example, two plus zero equals what? Hmm. Can you guess what two plus zero equals two? How about you try to solve that yourself? Pause the video. Think about the question and share your answer. That's right, two plus zero equals two because we are not adding anything to the two. How about 36 plus zero? Well, 36 plus zero equals 36. So if you got 36, you're right, because we are not adding anything to the 36. Here's a word problem. Listen to the word problem and try to solve it. Dan has four blocks. Jen has no blocks. How many blocks do they have? Hmm, think first. What do I know? Well, I know that Dan has four blocks. And Jen has no blocks. What do I need to know? Well, I need to find out how many blocks Dan and Jen have in all. How many blocks do they have all together? I can use counting chips to model my addition problem. I can use red and yellow chips to model how many blocks Dan and Jen have. So I'll use red chips to show how many blocks Dan has. Remember, he has four 
blocks. So here are four chips that I'm going to put here. How about for Jen? Well, Jen has zero blocks, none. She doesn't have any. So I am not going to use any chips to show what Jen has because she doesn't have anything. Hmm. Now let's write an addition sentence to represent this problem. Dan has four, so I put here the number four, plus Jen has none, zero. So I'm going to put a zero. So that's four plus zero. Four plus zero equals four, because all they have is the four blocks that Dan has. So four plus zero equals four. Now it's your turn to show what you know. Look at this domino piece. Can you make a number sentence that represent it? You should have something that looks like this. Five plus zero equals five, or zero plus five equals five. Because remember that in addition, the order of the addends doesn't matter. Whether you put five plus zero or zero plus five, the sum should be the same. And here's a recap of what we learned in today's lesson. We learned to add with zero. Thank you. See you next time.